Welcome everyone to today's online service for the 25th of October, 2020, the 20th Sunday after Trinity. We use as our order of service, page 184 in the Lutheran service book, setting three. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Almighty God, our maker and redeemer, we poor sinners confess unto you that we are by nature sinful and unclean, and that we have sinned against you by thought, word, and deed. Wherefore, we flee for refuge to your infinite mercy, seeking and imploring your grace for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. O most merciful God, who has given your only begotten Son to die for us, have mercy upon us, and for his sake grant us remission and by your Holy Spirit, increase in us true knowledge of you and of your will and true obedience to your word, that by your grace we may come to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, has had mercy upon us and has given his only Son to die for us and for his sake forgives us all our sins. To those who believe in his name, he gives power to become the children of God and has promised them his Holy Spirit. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved from this Lord unto us all. Amen. The Lord is righteous in all he has done to us, for we have not obeyed his commandments. Glorify your name, O Lord and deal with us according to your great mercy. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain. We have thought on your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. As your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is righteous in all he has done to us, for we have not obeyed his commandments. Glorify your name, O Lord, and deal with us according to your great mercy. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. 
that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading for this 20th Sunday after Trinity is from Ephesians chapter 5. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with all your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Alleluia, out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Alleluia. 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 The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 21st chapter. Glory be to thee, o Lord. Jesus said, Hear another parable. There was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season for fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. And the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did the same to them. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, this is the heir, come let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. When therefore the owner of the vineyard comes, what will, will, will he do to those servants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable end and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. And the one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. Here ends the Gospel reading. Praise to thee, O Christ. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The hymn of the day is number 828. We are called to stand together. Number 828 in the Lutheran service book. We are called to stand together with the saints of ages past, with all patriots and prophets in the faith they once held fast. Promises and hopes they treasure. Now we find fulfilled at last. Those whom Jesus called apostles journeyed with him side by side. Heard his teaching, felt his power, saw the way he lived and died. Then the news of resurrection they delivered far and wide. Through the intervening ages round the world the gospel spread. Faithful heralds took the message guided where the Spirit led. So the body who in stature served in Christ the living head. Now in many tongues and cultures songs of celebration ring. Millions who confess our Savior, honor him as Lord and King. And for the grace and guidance, every day their prayers they bring to each coming generation. Tell the truth, persuade, explain, till the time when time is ended, till the Savior comes to gain. Till the saints are all united under Christ's eternal reign. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I remember an old song that said, if that's all there is, then let's break out the booze. That is not the song the Apostle Paul is singing when he writes to the Ephesians living in evil days. He agrees that the days are evil, but he does not agree that that's all there is. He insists that we can sing and make music in our hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give thanks for everything? Yes, for everything. We can give thanks because God the Father is in control. And no matter how depressing things seem to be in these evil days, that's not all.
there is. As Christians, we can agree that we face disappointments. We can agree that everything is not as it should be, but we do not, for that reason, despair. Popular wisdom may say, if that's all there is, just break out the booze, but God's word insists, if we look carefully, we can live, not as unwise, but as wise. In Ephesians 5, it is written, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with all your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It takes a special kind of wisdom to make the best use of our time when the days are evil. Where will we find that wisdom? St. James writes about it as wisdom from above. The wisdom from above, he writes, is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. This is wisdom from God, wisdom from above, offered to people living in evil days, evil times. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, knows from his own experience what it is like to live in evil days. He was incarnate in evil times 2,000 years ago, and he died on an evil day when they crucified him, although he was the Lord of glory. Jesus Christ, the sinless one, is acquainted with grief. He feels our pain. He took upon himself our sin, our guilt. He bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Christ then rose from the dead for our justification, guaranteeing resurrection and eternal life to all who trust in him. Because Christ did that for humanity, we who live in evil days have a savior. We do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but we have one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We trust Christ to be our savior on the dread day of judgment or on the dark day of death whichever comes first. Surely we can trust him now in these evil days in which we live. We can find grace in him to help us in time of need. That grace comes to us from above and it comes to us in the word of God as the wisdom of God. Imagine how carefully you would walk if you were crossing a raging river, relying only upon stepping stones, you would look carefully at each stepping stone and you would make the best use of them. The challenge to us who live in evil days is to walk across a dangerous river, walking on the stepping stones that God has provided. This is why scripture says, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time 
because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to your Lord with all your heart, giving thanks always and for everything. To God the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Count your blessings, even in these evil days, and you will see that God has given you many things. He has given you your body, mind, and feelings. He has given you your eyes, ears, and voice. We have time, money, and abilities. We sometimes use these things in the wrong way. The Bible says, don't be fools, but find out what the Lord wants you to do. The wise way to use all our gifts from God is to use them the way he planned when he gave them to us. We can use our voices to say kind and helpful things instead of mean, hurtful, and evil things. We can encourage one another, yes, even with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making music in our hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. That is the word of God to you and me, and it is most certainly true. No one can deny that the days are evil. By the same token, no Christian should deny that even in these evil days, from the God who gave us a Savior in his Son, Jesus Christ, we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen. Amen. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forevermore. Amen. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. Having confidence in our justification by grace through faith, and having access to the Father in Jesus' name, let us turn our hearts and our minds in prayer on behalf of others, the church and all people, according to their needs. O oh, Almighty God, you have shown your faithfulness by raising up those in every generation who call your church to repentance and renewal. Continue to raise up voices in our own day who herald the truth of your word and proclaim the faith in purity and truth against all enemies. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Everlasting Father, you do not desire the death of the sinner, but want all to come to faith and life in Christ. 
raise up faithful pastors who will preach your gospel without fail and teach the doctrine delivered to the saints that we may hear and believe, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Merciful Lord, your word has been the light and salvation through the ages. Help us to bring your grace to those in darkness as missionaries and grant freedom through the forgiveness of sins. Bless those who serve far and near, and especially the new missionaries who are coming into the field. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of power and might, you have established governments and the order of law for the protection of all people and to preserve the freedom to worship you in spirit and in truth. Grant to government leaders humility and integrity, that all may enjoy true justice and the protection of law. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Holy and gracious God, your power is shown chiefly in mercy and pity to those in need. Give to the sick healing, to the troubled peace, to the grieving comfort, and to the dying faith. Hear us first of all on behalf of all who are suffering the effects of the global pandemic, and those also we name before you in our hearts. According to your gracious promise, grant patience to those in tribulation and trial. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have given great gifts to your people and provided resources to provide for our needs and for the needs of the poor. Bless the agencies and programs of your church by which your people give mercy, aid, and support to those in need. Help us to provide for all of these people that they may enjoy the fruits of their labors and honor you with the works of their hands. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. And on the 25th day of October, as we commemorate Dorcas, Lydia, and Phoebe, we sing the hymn for all the faithful women, hymn 855. In the Lutheran service book, number 855, singing especially stanza 12 today. For all the faithful women who served in days of old, to you shall thanks be given, to all their story told. They served with strength and gladness, in task your wisdom gave. To you their lives bore witness, proclaimed your power to save. Lord, hear our thanks for Dorcas, who served the sick and poor. Her hands were cups of kindness, heart and open door. Send also Christ your body, a people cry in pain and touch them with compassion to make them whole again. 
O God, for saints and servants, whose names and those unknown, in whom through all the ages your light of glory shone, we offer good and giving and fervent prayer we raise that faithful in your service lives and sing your praise. All praise to God the Father, all praise to God the Son, all praise Holy Spirit, who binds our church in one. With saints who went before us, with saints who witness still, we sing glad alleluia and strive to do your will. 